guys, welcome back to my channel. So, I decided to bring a special, beautiful little guest in today. <laughs> so, this is Jessica. Hello. And her Instagram is Jess Southern, but she does like the makeup and hair to the stars. You might have seen her on the like the Jesse James Decker show or like E News. Like, this is a big deal right now. <laughs> it's not at all. It is. So, we're gonna start doing some videos together because. I've been watching like your YouTube videos. You have like so many awesome tricks that people don't know that I just feel like I can bring to my viewers. And we're gonna do today our everyday makeup. So I'm gonna do how I do my makeup every day and kind of talk about it. And then Jess is gonna do how she does her makeup every day and talk about it. And then we're gonna achieve these looks. So if you wanna know how we do our makeup every day, keep watching. <laughs> All right. So let's get started with our everyday glam. I'm super excited because your tray you got a lot of new stuff. <laughs> I have a lot of stuff, I know, and I've been looking at your tray. So I know, like some of you swapping out. Before. I know, we'll steal it all. <laughs> so um, as we start with our face stuff, just I know they're all gonna know who you are, but tell no. me who you are. <laughs> My name is Jessica, and I am a makeup artist. I try to, to be stars. <laughs> To the stars. No. Um, and yeah, that's basically it. I I do my videos from an iPhone, which Mallory's yelled at me about. No. And it's not good, so this is really fancy for me. She just has so much potential. Because OMG, you know the first time I saw you, I think, was on E. Oh. You did Ali Fed's house oh, makeup or something? Yes. Maybe? Yes. A bit ago. And I was like, I love, I just like loved the makeup that you did. It was so like oh. fresh and clean. And then I like started following your Instagram, and I was like, I love her. I love her. <laughs> and then now she's here in my house, and we're doing a YouTube video. What'd you just I know, put I love on your it. face? So I have a love hate with La Mer. I love okay. it, but then I also hate it because it is expensive. But it genuinely, whenever I travel, my skin gets so dry that I have to use it. It gives me no choice. Yeah. But I hate their prices. <laughs> <laughs> but it's up. worth it. <laughs> True that. Oh, I'm always telling them all the time. Use it. Oh, I started using I just die for this. This. How do you say this? I love it. I've never been able to call 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 de la. We got call de la. Come on, we got two country gals here trying to teach you guys how to pronounce it. Like this. I don't know how to say it. Okay. It's good though. I've used it. It's really good. Yeah, it's really good. Well, I like to pronounce this one by Terry. I can do that. <laughs> I know a lot of people name Terry. <laughs> Easy. Like, oh. Yeah, and then I'm using like I always use eye cream every single day, every single mm -hmm. night. Oh, you're good. That's why she doesn't have under eye circles. You, I use it Blah. at night because <laughs> I'm horrible at it. No, I feel like, and I'm like on the hunt for like the perfect under eye patches. See, See I tell have, me if you got that. I have some. There is this uh, one brand I have, and I can't think of. Is it Life, Life Love Lux or something like that? But they're from Australia, and I actually really, really, really like them. Okay, I'm gonna have to like, try that. Like a lot. And then the Chlorine. Chlorine? Is it the chlorine? How do you say that? <laughs> it's K-L-O-R-A-N-E. Like they have the makeup remover with like the eye patches. No, I don't know that. But they're I'm good. Chlorine. They're good. They're like $24 <laughs> and they're really good. Okay, so um, are you just putting on your foundation already? Oh yeah, I'm fast. <laughs> oh, I'm your skin prep and Sloan's I'm does not win the race. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so fast. So I already put on like my Becca primer. Which I love, and then I'm just going in with my Face Atelier foundation. Okay, because I always wonder how your face is so glowy and dewy and luminous. It's because I put that stuff on all over, and I don't even, I don't even look at it. It's Hot bad. diggity dog. So what, what, what are you on? You're on eye cream. No, you're good. You're preventative. Well, That's I just good. did my. <laughs> I'm still preventing aging <laughs> on my end before I do the. So I just did the clean slate poreless primer. I'm t I've been telling her about Tarte because Tarte is. She's already got her whole dang face done, and here I am still talking about my primer. Okay, um, no, are you doing full coverage right now? What do you do I'm every doing, day? So every day, I kind of do like a light to medium coverage. I have a zit on my forehead, <laughs> which I actually rarely break out, just FYI. Um, and I've been eating too many chocolate-covered things. <laughs> chocolate-covered <laughs> chocolate things. Covered things, and now I'm happy. <laughs> Anything that's covered in chocolate, evidently, I've been eating. Well, you're you just wore a bra. You're horrible. celebrating. You're I am bad. celebrating. I am celebrating. <laughs> the most beautiful bra. <laughs> oh my God, no. So wait, so you're doing a primer. Are you a big primer person? I'm a I'm, big primer person. I, I, feel, I feel like I skip out and I need to. Yeah, but you do that. I feel like that Becca can constitute as a primer. Okay. If I were making the rules of makeup, 
don't look to me for official rules of makeup, but um, yeah, I think that the Becca could be a primer. But also, like, I have big pores, and I feel like like my skin gets like kind of wrinkly and crepey in some places. So that's so why I that's use the primer. Good. Yeah, but I use primer. primer like on people, especially brides. I feel like yes. I got a really primer face. What do you prime other people's faces when you? I do, and that, that's where I'm bad at. I feel like I do a good amount to everybody else, and I just don't do anything to me. <laughs> it's really sad. That's sad. It's really sad. I know. I'm always like, no, Her you face. get this like nice skin treatment. Let me give you a collagen mask before I do your makeup. And then me, as you can tell, you're skin prepping, and I'm like, <laughs> slap it right on. Just there. literally putting it on like I slap have right no time. There. It's so bad, and I need to be better at it. But no, well, you look just no. I'm trying lovely. to like slow down. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> what like, foundation are you in? on? Okay, so I did the Estee Lauder Double Wear because I know we're doing a ride or die makeup challenge, good. but this one is just like, I can't find anything I like better. No, that one's good. And it lasts forever. Now, what are you, okay, what did you do for foundation? Foundation, I did Face Atelier. And you said you've been using I this for love, like I've, like, I've never used this for like it. seven years. Like and seriously, this is seven years. Season number five. Which I think they changed their names. I think that one is like, I think it's a different name. I don't think it's CP anymore, but it is shade number five. But it's such a good foundation. It gives like a nice like dewy cover. So if you're oily, you're probably not going to want to like do this one. You need to mix it with yeah. something else. Um, but yeah, I love it. I've been using it for like seven years. Really? Yeah. See, I, I find when somebody finds a product like that and they've been using it for that, especially like it's if you're in makeup product. and you get all the makeup and you use all the makeup and you still use the same one. Yeah. yeah. No. That's how I am with this. I love that one. I'm. How long have you been using that one? I mean... I don't know. Since the dawn of time. <laughs> Vietnam. <laughs> I've been using it forever. Yeah. No, but like you said, those are like the best. Those, those are, are the best, best ones. ones. Yeah, and then they'll like reformulate your favorite one. Fall out. I, I think the people that reformulate foundations and good products should just be locked in a room and we should all beat them <laughs> and tomatoes and horrible products. At oh, because shoot. We should it's throw. so oh. bad. Like, why are you doing that? It's why not right. that Okay, so now you're using your... So using we're both on concealer now, yeah. so we caught up. We're caught up. Once I get to the face, we're caught up. Well, I have a lot of bags to cover up because I'm not doing my preventative acne. <laughs> you did not. And I have my, my acne to cover up like I'm a teenager. Yeah, acne. So, That's acne. Right. <laughs> right. My spot, my spot. So yeah, I'm using IT Cosmetics Concealer. Um... I like it. It's like a good coverage. I only have like a few concealers that I really love. Like, I'm one of those people, like, I'm kind of like tried and true to like the product that I love and I love this concealer. Okay, I've heard so much about that concealer and I've actually never used it. So, what's it, is it comparable to like an Amazing Cosmetics? Like you were talking about it's, you really like that one? So, I think, okay, so Amazing Cosmetics to me, even though they're both like creamy whenever you put them out, Amazing Cosmetics is creamier. Okay. So, it's a little bit creamier coverage wise. Amazing Cosmetics is going to be like a, like a hint more coverage. Um, so that way, like, it's not a lot. But I like this one because I feel like it kind of dries a little bit better. <laughs> oh, you want to... Now you're beating me. This is... I told you. This is where I, I take was it forever. This is how I win. I was <sighs> stretch my pants. <laughs> Hurry. My phone is great. <laughs> We're back. I turned the lights down just a tad because I wanted you to see this concealer going on. So, yeah. I like doing my concealer so, so fast. I love this sponge. Have you ever used this Tarte sponge? No. Oh my gosh. It fell what from the heavens <laughs> into my hand. <laughs> no, anyway, anyway, I don't know. I, mean, I don't know like what to do. Look at her little fingernails. <laughs> no. Look at look this bunch of okay, these that, Oh my all, god. Oh, so many <laughs> my you so know what? It was my dog. <laughs> It wasn't my nose scraping it off. <laughs> so wait, so how do you feel like this one is different from like the so, Beauty Blender or the Real Technique? Well, I like the Beauty Blender, but the Beauty Blender to me feels a little dense and like I have to wet a Beauty Blender to like make it do yeah. a good coverage. This one, I don't know what it is about this sponge. Is that one not wet? Oh my god. No, it's not wet. Are you Does serious? Does it feel like it? Magic. It's sold out it's of the Tarte website. Magic. I apologize. Like, because it's, the, it's a magical makeup product. That's why it's so I'm like speechless. <laughs> <laughs> like if you guys didn't like, give me back that. No, I know. I'm like, 
taking it, <laughs> taking it with me. One no, but it feels like it's wet, so that's like yeah. one extra, or that's one less step, step I know. that you have to do. So I, yeah, and I used to not use a sponge. I go back and forth. Like sometimes I use the Bobbi Brown full coverage face brush to like yeah. do my concealer. Sometimes. I don't know. I just use all different things. And then we were just talking about this. So under I know, I'm, I'm doing, still in her tart the tart because it's like bomb. it seems so amazing, and I need a little bit more coverage to cover up my acne up here. You cannot call it acne. You can call it a bluish because <laughs> For acne is not acne. Crimson <laughs> <a> blue <laughs> blemish. <laughs> so what concealer are you using? Okay, so I just did the shape tape. So I did. First, I did like everywhere and kind of like contour, like mm -hmm. here a little bit. I start my contour and I do it so fast with the light medium shape tape. <laughs> and then I just take the light and I put it like right a little tiny triangle right under my eye. Oh, that was really good. And I like your really little good. technique. So you were using what brush were oh. you using? Because I was like so I use um this so I mm, apply it one. and then I like buff it out with just like the beauty blender. So I love that one. And then yeah. So bye bye under eye bye -bye is the bye -bye. it cosmetics and you use yeah. the shade light so that's I use light. the shade light it goes really light on me but I like so for me I like doing it really bright so that way I can like highlight and then I always lift mine like way up here because I like that when you get past thirty you want to like <laughs> everything starts to droop down so we want to like lift you know what I mean like, yeah but like you don't have to lift. Like you, I have pores. Oh my, you're like touching a pore. <laughs> I have a pore. There's like you know, huge pores. I don't want to do a video with you. They're horrible. <laughs> no, you have like awful. beautiful, beautiful skin. So thank you. Maybe I'm it's been a your skincare. It's routine. been a lot of honestly. It's more than that. I'll just be completely honest. I've had lasers. I've had like Fraxel, IPL, chemical peels, like. And they you work. Think, so that that's the thing though. You attribute because people think. I can skimp on my skincare. You can't. You can't skimp on your skin. You can't. Yeah. You can't skimp on that, and you also like can't not get lasers. Yeah, and it really. Sucks. So which laser do you? Because people always ask that, and I haven't explored that just yet. But I really want to start like, especially before my wedding, I want to start some sort of like laser routine. And I should probably start you should now. You do. I mean, you have good skin. I what see, like, the heck is going on your face right now? I love what? it. It's my favorite bronzer. It's a cream. It's a, yeah, it's a cream. It's the Chanel Soleil Tan. I use it all the time. I'm obsessed with it. Like, I love it. It looks natural. What you I'm just did on it. your face is one of my favorite things I've ever seen anybody do. Like, that You're I so didn't nice. Know I'm going to come around here more often. No, it looks so good. It's like doing it. It's so pretty, right? Her skin is the skin of a 10 year old. It's so pretty. It's not. <laughs> it is. Yes, it is. Okay, I will take it will be. The the lasers, the whatever I need to get done. I'm like, hopefully it will be tonight. I'm having a little like, <laughs> but I want to use this. Up. You can use this? Use it. I just use so the powder. Good. I've been using the Too Faced, like one? the Sun Bunny. I okay, really like this good. one. That one's but good. That I have better. that, and that one's really good. No, but like, get me a little dip of this. No, get some. Because like during the day, I just go like a little bit. I just use more creams during the day. So, so it wears better. But yeah. Well, Especially when you get older, you want to wear less powder. You want to wear like. less powder, for sure. But also, I'm so dry that I can't not, I can't not <gasps> just like wear powder. You know what I mean? Like, I need like a yeah. cream on it. Oh my gosh, I'd die Isn't for it this. Isn't so pretty? How did I not know about it's this? It's so pretty. Wow. I know. Yeah, it's, that's good. I feel like so, great so, on the so, bride. So, so pretty. I use it on all my brides. So then do you set Always. it with, do you do over top of that a bronzer? Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. It depends. Like, I usually kind of have to wait and be like, oh, I'm pretty pale. I need to warm myself up a little bit more. <laughs> to be so honest. It's bomb right now. It doesn't. See, yeah, I think no. your skin looks good. No, you know good. I'm well, like, good. oh, no, I think your skin does look good. Because she doesn't have a pore. She's acting like she's over here. Exactly. She's got, like, the Grand Canyons of pores. There's, like, no pores <laughs> like me on her face. <laughs> I'm using the wrong brush. I just grabbed the wrong brush. Okay, now I'm going to go back and I'm going to set. I really love this. I was really surprised because I got all, I got, I have so many bronzers. And I'm always like, oh, this is the best bronzer. This is the best bronzer. And I, I feel like bronzers is something that I switch up a lot. I don't, yeah. I don't have like a ride or die bronzer. Like I love drugstore bronzers. I love I high like end bronzers. Bronzers are just bronzers. bronzers. Yeah. yeah, right? I know because I'm one of those same people that I'm like, I do have like one of my favorites that I tend to like whenever I'm doing it on clients, but. Which uh, one do you like on clients? I'm gonna save that one for my writer dog video. Oh, oh shoot. yeah, well, I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna give that information out there right now. It is my Chanel Soleil tan. I love it. 
I love it. We can not do it. <laughs> I wish you moved so to Nashville. But I wish I moved to Nashville. That beautiful house you just bought in Florida. If Logan Don't is move. watching, Nashville's great. There's a lot of people that move here per day. <laughs> is it 100? I thought it was like 180. I wish it was 100, 180. No, I hope it's 180. Leave. <laughs> just kidding. It's great. Cool. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome to Nashville. Get okay. out. No, just kidding. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, so I just randomly fast set my makeup with. My NARS translucent palette. So you do that before you do your blush and highlight? I do that before I do everything really? anything else. Mm -hmm. See, I set mine at the end, and then I always have to go back and do more bronzer and blush, so I wonder if that's something that I should switch the order of that. You do, so you do the bronzer and blush first, and then you go back. And highlight. And highlight mm -hmm. first. It's, I think it sets it, I think it like, it sets it more, which I told, we had this conversation, I'm not that much of like a setter. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't like really like to set a lot of stuff. But it's going to set it, but that's why you might have to go back and add a little bit more because it's also going to take some of the color away. Gotcha. Just a little bit. Gotcha. Okay, so I used the Charlotte Tilbury, and you and I both used mm -hmm. the Charlotte Tilbury cheek to sheet. And I met Charlotte Tilbury and you met her. No. Because I would steal her and kidnap her. You, I, you <laughs> would die. Time. She was the most... I like almost cried after I met her. Like, I, 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 she's so nice, so gracious, and just they had to like pull her away from Alex and I. She would sit. And she would have talked to us for fifteen minutes. Are you serious? And I just she's love that because nice. I, you love to promote somebody's product that is the most gracious, awesome, incredible person. Yeah, you know, I mean, because if you would have met her and you would have found out that she was horrible. You probably wouldn't want to use her products. Right, right. But and I love her products like on her own. Like even if she was horrible, I would be like, ugh. I I'm still going to use this. <laughs> it's all over that much. So now I'm setting it with the Laura Mercier um, translucent powder. I love that translucent powder. I think yes. this is like, it's a I think have. everyone needs this. And I I don't think that there are any drugstore comparable translucent powder. No. I haven't been able to find no. any. Or when I say drugstore, like drugstore or even like lower end, less expensive. Because drugstore stuff is not but cheap. It's not cheap. No, anymore. you're paying maybe like ten more dollars for a product that's gonna last you ten times longer and is a lot better of a product. Like I mean that product everybody needs. Everybody needs everybody it. needs that translucent powder. It is a hundred percent like the best one. When I get low on it, I I already have a backup. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's good stuff. It's so good. And then See. I highlight sometimes, but sometimes I don't highlight. What highlight? Oh do you God, use? I love highlight. Well, well I'm still over here on my like contour. Like, What's this? Just give me a little bit more in? warmth. So this right here is the Frankie Rose uh, contour palette. Wait, and tell me about that because you were just talking about Frankie Rose. I and you love it, love right? Frankie Rose. So why I like this palette because I know a lot of people like use the Anastasia like cream palette or whatever. Yeah. Honestly, I don't think you can blend it. I don't think it's I don't like, like consumer either. friendly. I don't at like all. it either. Mm -mm. Um, and I also think it's for girls that like more of like a really harsh, harsh, harsh contour. And I don't. I like it more natural and pretty, which I think you. I mean, too. it's like. Like, look at your oh face right now. It, it really, and you're, <laughs> I like it because, like, where, where that contour at? You don't know. It's like, yeah. Like, it's, it's, a, it's more diffused. And this one, and it's a did powder. your contour different, too. You did it, like, in a circular motion. I feel like a lot of people, yeah. like, they do that. No, so I kind of buff it like this. So that way, like, you're doing little tiny, like, small circles. Yeah, that's so a that great way, tip. So that way, it's not super harsh. It just diffuses it. So, yeah. yes, majority of the product I is like there, that. but you're diffusing it. I really yeah, like that. But mm -hmm. I like this powder because it's lighter than the Anastasia. It's a powder, so it's like more consumer friendly. And then, so the highlighter that I'm going to use right now. <gasps> oh, the no, Artist Couture. So these are so good. They're so, so good. So it's like a little. It's amazing. This? It looks and really that finely milled. Um, it's finely milled, but watch. Like it is <gasps> so shimmery. It's so shimmery. So, like, if you have, like, more oily skin, you're probably not going to want to use this much of it. I bathe in this stuff. I love it. Like, okay, can I, I, saw you, I saw you get that on yours. <laughs> like, you just it is so pretty, and I always do it on, like, the tip of my nose and the cheekbones because I've never understood in my entire life why women are going to the bathroom to powder their noses. I don't understand it. Wait, I love that. Now why? Because you feel like it just makes it so look like a big photos, old potato? <laughs> it looks like, like a big mouth looks like a big old potato. potato. It looks fun. Um, no, but in photos, whenever you have like a little like tip on the or a little shine on the nose, it makes your it's like an instant nose job. Even really? if like you don't need a nose job, it's an instant nose I job. I do it down I do it down the tip of my nose. Mm -hmm. Always highlighter, and then I'll do a tiny bit on the tip, but like yeah. I'm seeing what you just did with that and that's 
That's a really good tip. But see, like, I'll do this too, but just like for every day, I just kind of like looks so pop good. It on the thing. What blush did you use? Did you use the? So I used the cheek to cheek, um, mm -hmm. and my color is the climax. I think you have love. a different. Color. I have first love. And you said you like that for shadow. Too? I love that for an eyeshadow. I think it's such a good product. But then again, like any product that I use on my cheeks that day, I actually put on my eyes. Really? Mm -hmm. just, to like make it blend? Just so that way everything kind of like comes together. That's a so really like cool on tip. your eyes you could even use like one of those as just like a little bit in the crease. And it's really? just like kind of cool. Uh -huh. Like my everyday isn't that much like shadow. My cheeks right now. So yeah, okay. this right here is just like a cream. This is old school. Look at how long I've had it. It's broken. That's how I've had it. I think I've had it for like she five years. Broke it. She done broke it. And it's just a cream, and it's called Penny Lane by Nars. And you always use because that kind of goes with your like dewy. Mm -hmm. it you goes always with, like, have a dewy, beautiful dewy look. But like, even when yeah, so like during the day, I usually don't do that much eyeshadow, but I need to. Actually, look at that brow. I mean, like when people don't think a brow is important, that made a huge difference. That's like, like the best. Hello. <laughs> Let me pick you up from your soccer game at three. But then, like, hey, you want to go out with me later? Tonight? Yeah, me and Kim Kardashian are gonna go have dinner. <gasps> We're gonna go have dinner. We're best friends with my best brow. She's, She's best really? friends with my good brow. <laughs> it makes the so biggest difference. Funny. What, what no, do you think is the most the important thing? You think skin? You think eyes? You think brow? You think? Oh, if if I had to go out of the house with only one thing done. Can I pick two? Actually, can I pick two? I just set myself up for failure. I think it would be moisturizer because it gives you like a nice really? like moisture like luminous hydrated finish and i think if you're tired it can 100 percent uplift your skin and then it would be brows you think mm -hmm. moisturizer i never have heard anyone get that answer mm -hmm. i know so i like it <laughs> she got a lot of different things up in this head right here there's there's a lot of water weave in this head right now she was surprised she <laughs> we had a lot of weave in this whole stuck. full frame this is a full frame of weave right now there's a lot of weave going on so, so yeah, cool. now I'm just taking like that um, color with my fingers and dabbing it on my eyelid. Okay, now, but what about creasing? Because I feel like when I put something that's not, you don't prime your dang eyelids. <laughs> I don't right now. I do. If I'm doing like powder shadow, always prime. Have to prime. But with like a cream shadow, because I'm doing this like more of like a cream. Yeah. I don't really do it because I kind of like, I know this is really weird, but remember when Carrie Bradshaw was in Sex and City and she would do those like creamy like eyelids and they yes. would have creases. Yeah, they would crease. I That's like true. that look. Okay. I know. So you don't mind it to crease. I so, don't mind it to okay, crease. Okay. Yeah. And I'm just putting on like a brown, like have you ever used this one? It's by, it's by YSL, but it's like their vinyl mascara. No. And it has but like But your eyes look so eyes. good with your blush. She put it's blush like, on her eyelids. <laughs> That blush on your eyelids looks so good. <laughs> what are you putting on your eyes? Well, I was gonna like prime them up and like do a crease color and like a little <laughs> shimmery lid, but not anymore. Not anymore than that. The blush looks better than what I was about to do. No, you oh. should. Okay, so I prime mine with just like Mac Mac Paint pots. I I use those paint are so good. Or I'll use my concealer to prime my eyes. I like like you. I like to find something that I can use for two things, and I like two because I can show it on my channel and people can only buy one thing and be yep. able to use it for two things. Everybody loves it. A two, is, are they called? Do they, two for one. Yeah, do they hit people call them the two first? The two, two first? Have you ever heard of that? Kind of the two, two first? first? Have you all heard? I'm like, I feel like, I thought we were in a live audience. I'm like, so have you all heard of that? Have you heard, know. heard of <laughs> the two first? Are we talking about this? We to do. But yeah, the two first. I'm getting your bra. I feel like somebody said that to me and I didn't know what it meant. I felt like an idiot. And then yeah, me too. I'm glad you're informing well, me. Well, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe whoever that person is is now probably laughing. I'm like, oh, oh, oh. This one's so <laughs> yeah, I always say like two birds with one stone, but I think that's better. That's probably a more accurate way. But nobody hunts birds with stones. I also heard somebody no, saying they that. They really don't. See, I usually just do two colors on my eyes for every day, and I'll use like this, like a like a white-ish mm -hmm. color, and then I'll use like a mix between like a pinky kind of nude. And Those this is, so pretty. oh, like Anastasia. Like, okay, so how much do you love her shadows? They're, the, they're hands down like the best shadows. I won't reveal since we're not revealing ride or die secrets just yet. Good point. <laughs> <laughs> she does have really but good they shadows. They do have really good shadows. I know, I feel like every time I always end up using the shadows and I'm like, well, Jessica, we could use somebody else's. I know, but they're the best. So I always good. go back. 
And then I use like these this either Dusty Rose or Fawn just in my lime crease with a 224. I love Dusty Rose. And that's all I do on my eyes. Okay. And I don't because I've had eyelash extensions for like two and a half years and yeah, I'm you're never going to get really good. I'm never going to get rid of them. I like love them. Have you ever had them? Yes. And I'm the, I'm like, you know how there's like some people in the world that are just like not meant to do things? <laughs> Yeah. Like, like I'm also not meant to sing. I'm a horrible singer. I'm not meant to have eyelash extensions. Really? Why? Are you like I, a rough face sleeper? Oh my god! I don't even know how. I sleep. I'm still working on my brows because my brows are crazy right now. But um, I a hundred percent am the worst face sleeper. Like, yeah, I wake I'll sleep up and I cold. have. I'm like. But, yeah. like, you get hooked to, hooked on them, and then you feel like a pinky mouse when you take them off. Like, I, I feel like I'm, I mean, I, I don't know what I'd do, like, if they were like, no, we need to take a little break. And you're like, no, we're not taking a break. We're not taking a break. No, that's when you get up, buddy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know. That's when you go to the black market and get some of your ideas. No black market No black market on certain things. Though. Lash <laughs> extensions, <laughs> breast implants. <laughs> like, just they say there are certain things you shouldn't do. <laughs> okay, so now I'm just adding my lip liner because I'm obsessed with lip liner. Oh, I love lip liner. Like, I, I, can't, lip liner are you I can't live without lip liner. I'm using I can't ColourPop. Use without oh, I like ColourPop stuff for lips. I know. They're like $5. And then I just like bust it in so that way it doesn't look like that harsh all the way. Yeah, that looks really good. See, I don't have to put like mascara hardly on. I just put it on my bottom lashes. And sometimes I don't do a liner during the day, but I just did the Charlotte Tilbury oh, yeah. liner. Did you do uh, a liner? I didn't do a liner. Hers are so per I love all of I love oh, all of her stuff. Uh, Can you nice. meet her again and be best friends? <laughs> come here? Please, Charlotte. Please. If you're watching. <laughs> yeah. We're not to the right. <laughs> come to my house uh, and film a video of me and Jessica. <laughs> Please just come on in. We're I gotta crazy. get me a lip color. But you know what I saw were these Tom Ford ones on your tray. Oh yeah. Oh no. I love. Oh my god. I, I love like those. Them. They're like so them. good. I know. I really like the color that, that you're color putting right now. I mean, well, I, I keep all my good ones. I I really love this Tarte one. Gosh, I need to like. I'm so on the Tarte well, train. The Tarte products that I've used, like the Amazon Clay Foundation, really good. I've used. I told you I don't know how to pronounce it. The Marushku concealer. Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> The Marushku concealer. The Marushku. <laughs> it's really good. Yeah, it is really good. I love this because I don't have to wear a liner with it. So. And what is that one? Oh, the Tarte. Uh huh. And it's VIP is a color. Mm hmm. Oh, that's and a like, good color. Remember, like oh, back when Victoria's Secret color. like had these little yes, <laughs> yes, got gloss on it, and lipstick on the other. No, that one. They were the best. They were the originators, right? <laughs> the originators. Yeah, the, the originators. originals. <laughs> <laughs> the originators. They were the originators. <laughs> With a maracuja casual. Everybody that was a Okay, I'm going to add a little bit more of this. This is my Tom Ford gloss. It's my favorite color. Look I love the lipstick. Look at how pretty it is. Going on. It's naked. Naked. Let me naked. try some of that. It's so pretty. Could I, I try some of this? Yes. Oh, oh, and I love like a painted. Uh-huh. Yeah. It's so pretty. This was like one of my wedding splurges. Ah. Actually, how much is it? So I think it was like forty something, maybe. But that's some good stuff, though. But you know, every every that. girl always splurges on their wedding day, like you know, for makeup, and I didn't. So because nice. you didn't have to. Well, because I'm a makeup artist, so I felt like I was like, you know what? I'm gonna buy me some lip gloss. I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy me some lip gloss. Some my high gloss and lip gloss. <laughs> <laughs> I have gloss and I have blue lips on your wedding day. High blue lip gloss, and at that. <laughs> Well, I hope you guys enjoy this everyday glam. Look at Jess and I. Check out her YouTube channel. We'll link all of our stuff that we use below. Yes. And check out our ride or die makeup. Also. Bye, guys. <laughs>